Hi. Uh, in experiment four, uh, you are going to explore the mole concept of mole. There are 14 stations, and for each station, you need to solve the problem presented at each station and show all your work and calculation in the data sheet. You may pause the video at any time to record the data value. Now we are in station two. Station two doesn't have any measurement. It's just the given number, uh, a number of molecules, and you need to calculate the number of moles based on the, or the mass, based on the question. In station three, you have 35 milliliters of water. The green color, the purpose of the green color is for better visualization so you could see the volume. So just assume that is pure volume. In station four, you are measuring piece of chalk. You will get the first mass of the weighing paper teared by the balance. And then you place the chalk on the scale, record the mass. You may pause. If you didn't get a chance to record it, you may pause the video at any given time. On station five, you have a piece of copper, a 15 centimeter piece of copper. You measure the mass, record the number for measuring uh, for measured mass uh, from the scale, and do the calculation in order to answer the presented question. The presented questions are posted um, on the paper in the background. You could see them in video you would also have it in the procedure part of experiment four from the lab manual. In station six, you are measuring the mass of one teaspoon of salt on weighing paper that has the mass has been teared. Chemical formula for each of the compound, it's either given in the question or the name is given in the question and you will write the chemical formula. You find the molar mass using periodic table. So station seven doesn't have measurement, is given again number of atoms of aluminum and you are expected to use Avogadro's number to find the number of moles. But in station eight, you have a piece of candle. You measure the mass again by tearing the balance, uh, the mass of vein paper, measuring the mass of the wax. And the chemical formula for, for that is given in the lab manual. Experiment four, station eight. For station nine, there's a box. The measurement is given. I did not think that you could get the exact number from the from the ruler because of the size. So I made the measurement already, and I provide the measurement for the height, length, and width of the uh, box. And you need to do the calculation for mass of the air, convert the mass of the nitrogen, and answer the question. Same thing for, for station 10, no measurement is needed. You have the number of atoms again. On station 11, 23 milliliters of alcohol is in a graduate cylinder. Again, the green color is for visibility, so you could see it better. Uh, just take the measurement for the 23 milliliter of the alcohol that is given. And that alcohol is ethanol. Calculate the uh, moles and answer the question. For a teaspoon of baking soda on the next station, you would measure the mass of baking soda. The formula for baking soda is given in the lab manual. 
sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3. Record the mass, convert to mole, and answer the question. Station 13, you want to calculate the percent mass of sodium chloride solution. You need the mass of sodium chloride uh, salt, and you need the mass of solution. So first, we measure the mass of the salt, the sodium chloride salt in a beaker. The beaker was paired, the mass of the beaker was paired, so we just add enough to make it uh, 6 grams. Then we measure the mass of solution after mixing the salt with water and adding enough water to make it 100 milliliter of the solution in the graduate cylinder. So this is just the mass of solution. You can always go back, pause the video, record the number. For last station, you have 400 milliliter of 0.5 molar aqueous calcium chloride, and you need to do the calculation to find the mass of calcium chloride. Record all the data, show your calculation please on the data sheet before you submit. 